inside of today's video, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna do something called inversion thinking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually talk about the negative side of something and something you shouldn't do or a negative thing that you should do and then compare it to the positive, okay? This is something that Charlie Munger talks about um, very often and uh, uses as a way to diagnose problems to get to the root cause of what you should be doing. So the first topic that we are going to talk about today is just keep waiting. Inside of your business, inside of your life, just keep waiting. Don't take any action. Just keep waiting for things to magically fall into place and uh, just continue telling yourself this story. Now, let's also look at the opposite of this. What's the opposite of just keep waiting? How about get off your ass and start taking action? Okay, now guys, this is a, like I talk about that kind of lightly, right? Those are easy things to say, but actually getting up and doing things that are extremely uncomfortable for you, well, that's, that's really challenging, right? That is absolutely challenging. And it's something that everybody struggles with because deep down, everybody in this world knows what they should be doing, yet there's this hesitancy, right? They don't know if they should be doing this or if they're, they're capable of doing this and there's risk involved and there's scarcity involved and there's all these unknown fears that involve doing something new or just getting off your butt and starting to take action. But again, that's a heck of a lot better than everybody else in your world that's just sitting there waiting for things to happen, hoping one day, they're just leaning on prayer, just hoping one day that things will happen. Now, and I'm not saying it's bad to pray, you should pray for good things to happen for you, but in order for them to happen, God is also requiring you to take action. Like there, there's gotta be a win-win out of this relationship. If he's gonna give you something, you have to work for it and you have to take action and get this done. Now, I myself, I battled with this for a lot of years. When I was in the banking industry as an ag loan officer, I spent probably about 18 months, honestly, really going through this, this push and pull and battle internally of whether or not I could truly leave the banking industry, leave my safe salary of 60 grand a year or whatever it was, and uh, jump off and, uh, and start something new on my own, right? And really try to impact people, really try to build a business that I could be proud of, that my family would be proud of, and uh, things like that. And it was really difficult. There was, again, there was this push pull that happened for about 18 months there until finally I took the jump, until finally I got off my rear end and I went and I quit my job. It was the scariest day of my life, but it was also the most empowering day of my life because for the first time ever, I was done waiting. I was done waiting. I was finally taking action. And that was such a pivotal day for me. Um, I remember the date. I remember the time. I remember what we did the rest of the afternoon. Like I remember that day because it was so important to my life and it really catapulted me into where I'm at right now. Now, was there a struggle, right guys? Whenever you do start taking actions that are not accustomed to you, right? That you're not used to, that are uncomfortable, there's gonna be this rocky period here. There's gonna be this pit that you have to have to go through because whenever we're trying something new, guess what we're gonna have to do? Develop all these new skills, learn these new things, have to go through this rebuilding phase of yourself because now in order to get to that next version inside of your business or inside of your life that you want to go, you're going to be required to learn some new things and it's not going to be easy. It's going to last a while, but long term, it's going to pay massive, massive dividends for yourself and your family. So at the end of the day, my friends, you have two choices right now. You can continue surrounding yourself with people that are sitting there just like you waiting for things to happen, not taking any action, just li leaving everything up to prayer and uh, hoping that everything works out in the end. Or you can watch this video, you can shut it down after this, and you can go do something that you've been avoiding doing for the past week, month, years, decades, whatever that is, going and having a crucial conversation or making a big change in your business or jumping and leaving your job to go start building your own thing that you've just been hesitant to do for a long time. You have to take action and God will reward you for this. I promise you that I am living proof of this. I started with nothing. When I first started Legacy Farmer, it was just me. Now we got a team of five people. We have over 300 customers from all across the country that we're adding massive value to and helping them with every side of their financial position inside of their operation, helping them save money on interest, helping them know their numbers at a deep level, helping them with tax strategy and tax planning and saving money on taxes. There's so many things that have happened from that one day, from that one day that I finally had the belief in myself and I finally got tired. I just got sick and tired of sitting around hoping and praying for things to happen and I finally got off my ass and I started to make things happen. And it was a rocky road, but man, things started to come together and there were lessons learned along the way. I've grown as a person and as a businessman along that path and I would not trade it for anything in the world. So do not waste 
your precious time in your life sitting here living a life that you don't want to live or doing things that you don't want to do or avoiding confrontation or collisions with people around you that you feel are, are holding you back or holding you down. You got to grab the bull by the horns here and you got to take action relentlessly inside of your life and things will start to come together. So that concludes today's message, my friends. I hope you found it valuable and we'll catch you in the next video. What's up, everyone? My name is Jace Young. I'm the founder of a company called Legacy Farmer. And inside of Legacy Farmer, we've helped more than 300 family farms across this country streamline and simplify the entire financial side of their operation and help them implement the systems and processes to guarantee that their farm operation goes on for multiple generations in the future.